Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more of the second reality project. So between videos, I checked Raukau's videos, and from what I can tell, over the forest here only has four dragon coins on the, you know, the original version of the game. So 1.5 or the SNES version, which of course I'm playing the SNES version. Uh, but it does have five dragon coins in the remake, uh, the second Reality Project Reloaded. Anyways, let's move on to Flying Fortress now. We really didn't make a lot of progress last video between a long auto-scroller we had to do twice, a really confusing maze, and then... You know, another auto-scroller, which was missing a dragon coin, that was a whole bunch of confusing. But now, we're on to a pretty cool level, the Flying Fortress. We've got to climb up into it, because it is flying, after all. And now we are in the Flying Fortress. Kind of, we took a pipe up further in the clouds. And now we're in the Flying Fortress. So, yeah, I'm not sure what way to go. Well, that answers my question pretty quickly. Oh, this is a wall. I thought this was background like the rest of that. Okay. There's nothing too bad so far, although I thought that Kamikaze Koopa was going to come straight at me. I tried to hit rewind, which is my spacebar, and I accidentally hit N. So hopefully that doesn't screw up my game or the recording. That would be awful. I don't think I fully pushed it down, though, and I don't know if it's a shortcut for anything, so... I think with my emulator I disabled most of the shortcuts. And I, I have no clue as far as OBS goes. But everything looks like it's still working fine. I'm just gonna let you guys pass. That'll just make things a whole lot easier for me. Oh, boy. No. Okay. Hello, star. This'll be a whole lot safer if I just fly up. Because then the timing isn't as tight. Oh, yeah, look at those Kamek heads. When I use my star on those spikes. Yeah, when you take items and other stuff into places they were never meant to be, things get weird. Such as, you know, my spring missing a corner of it. And I didn't even need the spring, because I just flew instead. Are there any secrets in here? No, this is just a checkpoint room. Alright then. Because the checkpoint for a level always has to be in the same area as where you started. That's another little quirk about Super Mario World hacking that I know about. Or at least that's how things used to be. But I think newer hacks have like multiple checkpoints in one level, whereas I think in the original Super Mario World and you know, in hacking you could only have one checkpoint per level. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have also, if they've made it so you can have more than one checkpoint, they've probably also made it so that your checkpoints can, you know, uh, be in places other than the opening of the level.
I regret this. I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> but at least we know there's nothing down here, so we don't need to jump into pits, right? <laughs> that was really awkward, but it worked out. Ah, uh, there's nothing below us, but it- oh, get out of here, Gloomba. There's nothing- get out of here, Goomba! Or er, Gloomba. There's nothing below us, but is there anything above us? Ooh, I can actually get on top. I was not prepared for that outcome. I don't really want to go on top. There we go, there's all our dragon coins. Because this level actually has five of them. There is a fire flower I don't need. And here's our lack of a boss, because they didn't want to use Reznor four times. Instead, they use him like twice, I think. But yeah, so we have a long auto-scroller instead of a boss. It's supposed to be a really hard auto-scroller, but like, you know, save states. That's fine, though. I don't need it to be hard. I mean, it could still be hard if I, like, save state at the wrong time and then I need to rely on rewinds, which... You never know when rewinds are gonna put you in a bad spot. They usually will. But eventually they'll put you in a good spot if you rewind far enough. Yeah, let's rewind right now, actually. So I didn't mean to load. I meant to spin him, but apparently I also accidentally ducked at the same time. So the spin did not really happen. Ow! I got thwimped. Oh no. Curse you, lava bubble. Forget these coins, I gotta get through. Only so many of those throw blocks or grab blocks or... They're called grab blocks in this game. Only so many of... Like, in Super Mario Bros. 3, they're ice blocks of all things, but yeah, only so many grab blocks can be active at a time. So if you need to get through a ton of grab blocks at once, that's something to keep in mind. It might help to just kick a few. I tried to delay myself getting the finish for as long as possible there. Anyways, that's Flying Fortress. It's a pretty cool level. Now time for some more Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedgehog action at Starlight Zone. So yeah, this looks pretty cool. Very space-like. Ow! That Koopa was not so cool. He thinks he's cool. But he doesn't have sweet shades like the actual cool Koopas from the Paper Mario series. Talking about them having sweet shades just reminds me of my Ape Escape 2 multiplayer videos with like the dance monkey dance. When I was referring to that one monkey as sweet shades monkey. And my cousin's all like, ooh, he does have some sweet shades. That's just what pops into my mind with that. 
So I don't think we have any dragon coins to worry about in this level. But we do have a secret exit to worry about. Which is probably like, you know, at the end. Now I'm even more convinced that it's at the end, now that we have this cloud. Yeah, I'm just gonna go under all this. I mean, I'm showing you the level, I'm just not showing you me doing the level. You can see it all, though. I don't know, can you see it all? Now, now you can actually go up higher, so I should probably actually get up here. Well, that lasted a very long time up there. Yeah, I'm just not gonna mess with you guys. And I started to realize that going under is actually how you get the secret exit, huh? Yeah. Should I actually play the level when I go for the normal exit? I feel like that'd be fair. That way you're not just watching me go under the entire level again. So yeah, let's do it. Starlight Zone actually being played properly, except I'm still gonna fly up here. I flew into the pipe. No, I want to do this properly. Okay, maybe I... Maybe I didn't fly into the pipe properly. I thought I'd be able to fly when I got out on the other side of the pipe, because that is a glitch you can do, but I guess I didn't do it right. But yeah, you can conserve your flight when you go through pipes if you do it right. Same thing as on vines. No! This is going poorly. Oh! I hate how it sometimes doesn't let me jump when I go over, like, the top of a... Of a little summit like that. Like, if I try jumping at the very top as I'm going over it, it just doesn't let me jump. No! Don't you do this to me, Kamikaze Koopa. And charge and chuck. Alright, let's do this properly. Let's dodge all this fire. really not that hard. The Super Koopas were no threat whatsoever. Like, they were actually pretty pitiful. No, I- forget- forget that. I'm actually gonna try for a 50 here. No, I got a 30. Okay. I'm not gonna keep trying until I get a 50, I just wanted to actually try once there. So that's Starlight Zone, we're not gonna be going on to Scrap Brain Zone yet, but it's there. We could also just, you know, go straight to Bowser with Bowser's Palace. But we're not gonna do that right now. Now let's head back into the Forest of Illusion, except not really because we're going to the castle on the outside of it. Because we got to get some real challenge here. Oh yeah, let's get some real challenge.
So we already have Dragon Coin. Don't want to bounce too high, and you don't want to dip too low, because look how low that dips. Ugh. I was just showcasing how the springs work. You didn't have to come ambush me, Lava Bubble. Ah! It dared do that. To the great Super Mario! Oh, hello, Thwomp. No, I, I'm not waiting for you. I'm flying past you. That's just how we're doing things now. I'm thinking about the, the remake, and I'm thinking taking the P-Switch backwards is a good idea in the remake. Because the castles actually have secret exits in the remake. But yeah, not on... Not in the original version. Okay, got four dragon coins before the checkpoint. Seems pretty good. We're on an auto-scroller now, though. Which is always slightly concerning. I don't dislike auto-scrollers like so many other people do. I mean, I dislike doing them twice. But I don't dislike them in general. But they are always a bit worrying, you know? Not quite sure what they're gonna ask of you. Oop! I messed that one up, but we're fine. Hello! Give me the- no, give- no! Ah! Give- no! Give me! There we go. That was a little bit difficult. No! Okay, there we go. Nice dodge, Mario. Good thing you have time manipulation powers. By the power of save states. Where are we now? This is still a very similar looking auto stroller, but it's laid out different, so I guess we just keep going. Uh-oh. No. No. I had a feeling I didn't want to hit that one, but I wanted to try it out. Just to be sure. Got another shell, but we've got plenty of time to do what we want now. Didn't mean to jump there, but I thankfully stayed up. And here we are. Time to face Roy. Bye, Roy.
Mario found his way through the Forest of Illusion and has put an end to Roy Koopa of the Castle Number Five. Of Castle Number Five. Now to the dangerous Koopa Desert, not Chocolate Island. Koopa Desert. That one is edited. So our next level is Dragon's Island, which is, I guess, is what this little spot is, even though there's another level named after a dragon la later, but, um, yeah, Dragon's Island. And by dragons, I didn't mean to fly there, but sure. But yeah, by dragons, they mean these little dino torches and dino rhinos. There's nothing up here, right? Okay, I didn't think so. Ow! Don't do this. Don't do this. I saw you pointing upward to flame me. Don't do this, mushroom. I don't want you. What's on top of here? Figured. Alright. Uh, where do I want to go? There's so many directions, and getting hit is not the preferred one. No? Okay, that's that's a, a Super Mario World glitch there. The overlap of the spring and the dino torch. The spring and the enemy just got the game confused. Hi, Yoshi! What are you doing here, and why? So you come out of that pipe. Interesting. Now which pipe do you go into? I'm pretty sure it's one of these yellow ones on the floor. Yeah, like that one. Now do I actually need to bring this P-switch somewhere? Or is this just for coins? I'm just gonna assume that I don't need it for now. Where am I? I feel like I've gone forward in the level because I have. Well, Yoshi, you're gonna help me check what I've missed. This is all I've missed, okay. Thank you for your sacrifice, Yoshi, but I have you back now! Because that's the magic of save states. You can actually check stuff like that. I'm curious, is there an invisible block here? There is, so that keeps you from getting that mushroom. I kind of figured. You can just sense those things, you know? I think I just saw the last dragon coin. Yeah, there we go. Alright, just coins there. Let's move on with our dinosaur friend. Oh. Ow, stupid muncher. Hitting me through my Yoshi armor. Eh. <laughs> Next time we hit the gold tape, we're definitely getting a bonus. 
All right, time for cold ghost tower. It's one of those rare ghost houses that doesn't have a secret exit. But, you know, I still gotta look around. Maybe I don't, because there's a ceiling there. So yeah, it's an icy ghost house with those pits that move around. Those holes that can just move, like the one Ed had on that one episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> okay, I got it. I'm happy I got that one. Eh. Good thing flying makes you somewhat invincible. Ow. No. Okay. That works, I guess. I was... I wanted to spin jump on the Eerie, but spin jumps are lower than normal jumps, so... I didn't get high enough, but I'm through anyways. Should I fly into this pipe? Oh yeah, see there, I carried flight momentum through a pipe. It's always neat when you're able to do that. And sometimes necessary in certain ROM hacks. I always love when ROM hacks require the use of glitches, because that's just... That's a type of uh, level design that you just never get from Nintendo. Because if they intended it, then it wouldn't be a glitch. But yeah, I like, you know, being able to break the game in order to get stuff done when it's actually intentional. Which doesn't completely make sense, because if it's intentional, you're not breaking the game, but you get what I mean. It's, it's a very unique way, like, you know, solving puzzles in ways that you normally wouldn't in games. No, I... No! There we go. Come on, you darn boo blocks. There we go. No. No. Alright, let's... No! That was the wrong way. Why are you facing the wrong way, Mario? Oh, now you face the right way. But your weight is so heavy because I was going down so steeply before. Nope, wrong way. Of course, now you face the way I want you to. There we go. Nope, okay. And I lost my flight because of that, too. Similar to how you can maintain your flight on those vines, you can also maintain your duck. So if you duck and grab a vine, then when you come off of the vine, you'll still be ducking. You had to do that in Super Demo World, the legend continues for a secret exit. Cause like, you had to go into a place where you needed to be big. But then you had to go through a little gap that was too high to reach. From a normal jump, like you had to use the vine to get up there. Hey, two up. 
Oh, hey, we're at 30 minutes. Alright, well in that case, I guess we're gonna be doing Dragon's Treasure next time. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.